Hello and welcome back to another Test and Tune video. I'm just playing with the VVDI prog, so I thought I'd document something that it has done successfully. So here I have an FRM2 module. It's from an E90 LCI. It is the FRM2 LHD AHL module. The board looks as follows. And yeah, I was managed to read the EEPROM and the flash file with VVDI. So with VVDI, it was just a matter of VVDI prog, it was just a matter of selecting the XDT256. I went to the connection diagram, which we followed here. Now, I was a little bit concerned about it because we've got the three points on this side of the board, and then we have one point on the underside of the board, and my soldering skills aren't the best. So I was a bit worried that we weren't gonna be able to flip it over. However, with my new soldering iron, everything's coming up trumps, and it wasn't too bad. Now, I did use a little bit of PVC priming fluid. Now, this is a heavy solvent, which I use to remove the, hopefully the GoPro picks it up, but you can just see, it is picking it up. You can just see that shiny edge where it's got like a lacquer over the circuit board. I needed to get through that to actually solder to the pins. I used this to break down the lacquer a little bit and just clean off the area where we needed to solder. A Little bit of flux, a little bit of solder down and then we managed to solder to those three pins with a really solid connection actually so once we had the soldering done um which was just following this i went straight into here we did a first connect and i'll just read the eprom first you can see how quick it is it's read the eprom i'm going to save that although i have got a copy of it already actually i'll just verify it before i save it make sure it's reading properly from what I can tell, the verification process just reads it again and then checks that the files are the same. All right, we'll save that as EEPROM2. This is actually a working FRM module, so there's no need to try and repair it or do anything strange with it. And I'll just read the flash file. The flash file's obviously got a little bit more data in it and it does take a little bit longer to read, but you can see it's smashing through the process right there. This thing, I've only connected it to two devices, but it is so fast and it just seems to work unlike my R270. I'll just show you how long it takes to read the flash. Nearly there. Oh, actually, actually, it's nearly there, it's nearly there. Okay, flash is red. I'll just verify the flash again before I save it. While it's verifying, I did foolishly buy from VVDI a FRM clip. Um, they didn't mention that it doesn't work on all FRMs. I think this only works on FRM1. I'm not really sure, but it definitely doesn't work on this FRM2. The version it does work on doesn't really have anything on the back of the FRM, so all of these chips, resistors, capacitors, whatever they are, they're not there. It is a blank board and that's what that clip will connect to. However, with the soldering, I just don't think you should bother with them. Just solder and get a better connection. Verification process nearly done. Does it verify? I don't remember it taking this long. Sorry, nearly there. Done it and it's all good all right we'll save that one as well but again i just wanted to document for the youtubes vvdi prog will read an frm2 faultlessly the eprom and the flash obviously if you've got a faulty one you will need a good file to reflash onto it but it looks like vvdi prog is pretty damn good guys thank you for watching catch you on the next one